Welcome back in the course. Now I want to show you a real world example. Let's go together and create a good looking professional business slide onto our presentation. Let's not waste any time. Go ahead and create a new slide. I will right click here as I have in my habit delete everything. All right, and we can start working. To have some objects we will add onto the slide, I've downloaded a few icons, a photo and a pattern for the background. Let us start with the slide. I will right click on it, I will go to format background and I will select the picture or texture fill. Since the original texture fill in PowerPoint is so beautiful, I had to download another pattern. So I go to file and show PowerPoint the pattern I've selected. I double click on it. At this point, the little pattern I've downloaded is stretched across the entire slide. What you need to do when this happens is tick this checkbox, tile picture as texture. Now we have a nice texture. All right, let's insert the photograph. I want the photo just to cover a little bit of this design. I go once again to my project files and I drop the photo right inside of PowerPoint. All right, now the photo is too big. I just want it to have a nice shape. So I go to picture tools. And by the way, you will learn how to work with pictures and I will use the crop tool. Cropping allows us, of course, to crop and work with the picture. But what I want to do is to crop it to a certain object. I will click on this icon. I will go crop to shape. I will go to crop to shape and crop it to this object. All right. Right now it's of course too big. I wanted it to be smaller. So once I have the object ready, I click on crop. I crop it by really much. Click again on the crop. All right, I think the crop is okay. You can always adjust the object, but basically I think this looks neat. And since we already prepared such a good looking slide, why not use the text we prepared before? Let's take this text, Control C, Control V onto this slide. Well, of course we have to change the text. So I'll go manually and put here title slide, title slide, title slide. All right. I've changed the text. Maybe I should also change the font. Maybe a lot of font, but not hairline. This is a custom font. I downloaded it. I will go uppercase. So each of the text is uppercase and we have some title here. Maybe it's too big, making it smaller. All right. This is interesting. I will divide this lesson into two because the slide is getting a bit advanced and I want you to follow along while I work. So go less time to insert. And let's insert a text box for some basic text. I've quickly copied some lorem ipsum text from the internet. I will use the letter hairline and adjust its size to about this amount, not making it too big. Maybe it should line up with the title slide like that. I will also hit the justify button and I believe we are ready with this part of the slide. 